morning, everybody. Welcome to Jay Speak. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to check out some questions this week. So uh, go for the first one. Uh, I got a question about um, musical influence and how they've changed over the years. So, you know, I, I mentioned that a lot of three chord, you know, bands and songwriters were a lot of my inspiration. Uh, I'd say over the years, my taste hasn't, I don't, I don't think it's really changed that much. Um, I, I do think that I've allowed myself to listen to more and different things instead of just isolating on one genre. So growing up, I would like just go through like a phase where I just listened to like Green Day, Brand New, New Found Glory, and like Rancid or something. And now, you know, I can play some Commodores, some Four Tops, go to Nirvana, go to Royal Blood, go to the Foo Fighters, um, you know, whatever. So I, I don't know that it's changed that much, but I, I definitely uh, allow myself more listening time to other music that uh, I do love. So the other thing I'll say about musical influences is that maybe over the years, what I have learned is that you really need a good voice out front. And it almost doesn't matter what you say. If it's a really good melody and it makes you feel something. I've always been uh, not a very good singer. So I've relied heavily on being able to write interesting music, or at least I think it's interesting, and focusing on that and don't understand necessarily why people don't get that. But I think as I've gotten older, I've realized that it almost doesn't matter what you say as long as you got a good voice, sadly. And, you know, the music is decent. So, you know interesting i mean there's bands that i didn't listen to for years because i can stand the guy's voice but like amber lynn was one i did not like that guy's voice but it grew on me i i like amber lynn now you know that's like one of the major ones i can think of you know what i would say is my musical um influences and taste haven't changed but my love for high gain has so that's, that's kind of actually interesting. So what I have really seemed to gravitate towards is um, like EL84 based uh, mid game breakup stuff a lot lately. Uh, I really like the Mesa Lone Star Special and I really like the Vox AC30. And yeah, I mean, a lot of the orange stuff, but to me, it's all vintagey sounding. I don't know. Hope that helps. I'm going to cover one more question and format change. So the other question I got was about the Rosewood Tele. Um, I got this from Musician's Friend. The guitar is very nice. Uno momento. So this guy. Yes. It is a all Rosewood neck. Um, that's what attracted me. To this guitar and not only is it like a cool surf green it's got a mint green pick guard they're really nice i think what the rosewood board and neck does is it warms the guitar considerably for a telly um which it doesn't have a lot of that spikiness and you know like that high-end top stuff that a lot of tellies have but yeah man it plays really nice it feels like a telecaster you know like I talked about the difference between how it sits um, between the Les Paul. I really like this guitar. Um, I haven't played it too much lately just because I've been tracking a lot of uh, thicker, heavier stuff, but they rip through some of the orange high gain stuff and it sounds awesome with the Mesa Mark V. So yeah, I definitely check this out. I love the neck on this. Uh, it's like a satin finish and it's great super fast uh yeah so enjoy uh last thing is uh format change so what we're gonna do from here on out is or at least for the time being until whatever um we're gonna do j speaks on saturdays so i'll still see like saturday morning cartoons and then uh we'll do the demo video or pedal or amp comparison or whatever it is this week uh we'll check those out i'll check those out on Wednesday. So Saturday's J speak demo videos 
on Wednesday. Wednesday, not Saturday. And if there are any videos that you want me to make um, with any of the gear you see lying around, let me know. And uh, I will do my best to accommodate. Otherwise, I will just figure out stuff to play and stuff to demo. So thanks again for watching. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub. Have a great week.